If you do not vote because you don't like crowds or you don't like lines, you can get a ballot delivered to your own mailbox. Carrie Tompkins from the Scott County Auditor's Office joins us right now with the latest on voting absentee and other information. Carrie, this is a busy time of year for you, isn't it? It is, yes. It's been very busy. We are 34 days out until Election Day, so it's pretty wow. busy in here, but we're excited. 34 days. You know, it, everybody's seen all the commercials and all that, all the political ads, and they're thinking this this is going to be forever before the, uh, the voting day comes up. But yet, it's running close. And uh, we need to get in, if you live in Iowa, you need to get in your absentee ballot request form. Yes. So if you want to vote via absentee, therefore it would be mailed to you to your home so you don't have to go out if you don't want to. Um, the law says you have to request it. So you can call our office, 326-8631, and just ask us and we'll be happy to send one to you. We'll even send you a self-addressed stamped envelope. You can also go to our website and print the form off and mail it to our office. Um, but we have to have that form in order for us to mail you the ballot, which will not be mailed until October 19th. Okay. Um, so that's important. So, Carrie, if you, um, for, for those of, of us who have voted that way before by absentee, you know, through the mail, mm -hmm. I'm not going to automatically receive a ballot unless I fill out that request form every time, every, exactly. every election. Yes. Okay. Yes, in 2020, because of COVID, the governor actually changed it because of an emergency situation, and that's when we were able to mail you that um, form. But now that's done, and so, correct, you have to request it every time. Got it, got it. You know, um, some people are remembering back in, in the old days, you only had that one day to vote, that one Tuesday, right. and that was it. But that's, that's changed a lot, hasn't it? We have in-person uh, voting starting on the 19th. Absolutely. So October 19th, you can come down to our office and you can vote. Uh, we're open Monday through Friday from 8 to 4.30. Also Saturday, November 5th from 9 to 5. And in addition, we have satellite sites starting throughout the community. Mm -hmm. um, and those will be different sites. The information is on our website. Um, but the Scott County Library in Eldridge, the Bettendorf Public Library, Davenport Public Library in Eastern Avenue, um, Davenport on Fairmount Street, and St. Ambrose University, um, the Rogalski Center. So those will all be locations for us, and they'll be starting to open. They all have some different times and different dates, um, but again, that information is on our website. And Carrie, if you're not a registered voter yet, um, maybe explain to folks what they need to do for that, because maybe uh, people are voting for the first time, or it's been many, many years since they voted. Uh, talk about that registration process. Sure, so you can come into our office, you can fill it out online, there's a form, you can also do it online um, via a link, which is also on our form, um, or on our website, I'm sorry. And so if you want to be on the roll, we call it, before right before um, Election Day, you need to get registered before um, October 24th. And that just means when you go in to register, if you're somebody who likes to go to the poll and register, your name will pop up in our system. Okay. However, if you're not registered, there is also Election Day registration. Um, just make sure that you have the proper identification. And again, that those details can be found on our website. Um, but you have to prove who you are and where you live in order mm -hmm. to register. Got it. Um, but certainly we want to make it as easy as possible. It's good to know. I, I think what you just said about the election day registration, day of, yeah. uh, that's important because I think sometimes people think, oh, I didn't register. So they think they can't right. vote uh, come November 8th. Okay. All right. So we're going to put up the information. Uh, Carrie, thank you so much for all this. Uh, there, there are your Scott County voting options. We talked about the absentee ballot request form. You have to have that in by October 24th, and you get those ballots back. Uh, they'll, they're due by, uh, what, what, what's the date you said for the, the return on that, uh, Carrie? So all of the ballots, uh, we can't start mailing the ballots until October 19th. And then all of those ballots are due back to our office on Election Day. So you have until 8 o'clock on Election Day to get those back in. Okay, Carrie, thank you so much for joining us today. We um, appreciate your information. And so we're going to put up that info for you. And then also we have some uh, some Illinois uh, information as well. Carrie, I know you don't know about that. We're, we're going to show that. Uh, you can just go to the Illinois uh, Board of Elections um, and that the website through the Rock Island County Clerk's Office as well. Thanks, Carrie. Perfect.